Hi. Hello. Me again. The bird's nest that is my hair expresses how I feel. And also, yes, I know the camera's shaky. I'm on my bed. This is just where I want to be right now, okay? It's how I feel. Also, cheers. Somebody have apple juice with me so I feel less alone. Oh, my man. Alone in my apple juice. So, the reason that's empty is because this is like the fourth time I've been trying to film this thing. Oh, fuck me. Also, I don't know if my camera is going to be acting weird. Sorry if it is. I had to stop the last recording because it was acting really, really, really bizarre. Um, but it didn't seem to lag in the actual recording, so let's hope that that's okay and that the uh, the audio is okay, all that type of stuff. Please tell me we're recording. Yes, okay, we're recording. Um, welcome to my extremely ratchet setup because you'll see this always slowly going down because the only way I could have afforded a mic stand at the time was to ask for if they had one they didn't need or broken one. So I got just what I asked for and paid very little for a broken mic stand. Now, past um, what's going on with that, I wanted to just explain why I've been gone a bit, although not many people, but for those that watch, I really, truly appreciate it. Okay, the camera shaking is even bothering me. I'm going to try to put this on like a book. Maybe that'll help. Oh, God, no, that's, that's making it worse. Let's not do that. Um, Ratchet setup. Look, just please accept it. Put this on audio only. I don't look that interesting anyways. So, cheers. And aside from reasons like school, my mental health, which is um, constantly like... Um, I also decided, took a step back mainly when it all the shit show of the golden children falling and the, the toxicity hit a new high to my time on YouTube. Fun fact, I actually never really watched YouTube beyond Nancy Drew walkthroughs. Do not judge me. Love Nancy Drew games. Until I was about 17. I was that much under a rock. But yeah, but now I've been thinking of moving my channel more towards true crime. Let me know what you guys think. I really love the community of the true crime, especially with what happened. I'm not like, I'll probably put in some of my own like, lifestyle stuff. Like, at least I think that's my content type. I don't know. Like, more my hair, please. I tried. It's just, yeah. Cheers. But. I don't have a lot of social media. I don't link like Twitter and stuff because I don't have one. I have one, but I don't use it. Literally, I haven't opened it in a year. I made it for some stupid reason. Never used it. Never even like, just never even like, a, you know, silently stalk people on Twitter. I don't even do that. My Instagram is mostly pictures of my art. Like, and it's more towards my personal life. Personal. It's more personal for me. It's not like a big thing like, it's not like something like the YouTube that I do where it's specifically to be more public. So, I don't have anything else really. There's 14 year old me's Tumblr. Who, Tumblr died. For good reason with what's on there now. So, just to quickly address all of the stupid stuff that's happening, am I the only one that just sort of sits back and watches the YouTube world burn in awe of how, how, how do people, and the thing is, like, with some YouTubers it's obviously all their fault, but then also there's this contribution of the people watching it who are like, go kill yourself to some of these people, like, I have very different opinions for people like Shane Dawson versus Gabby Hanna with all their drama. Like, Shane Dawson, it's not like he said something wrong. 
that was just moderately offensive. It's not like he hurt someone's feelings by being yelling at, or like, you know, just general type of normal stuff. The, the shit that's come out is sick, twisted, disappointing. I used to like his conspiracy videos, stuff like that, except I couldn't watch it as much because the eerie music in the background just gave me anxiety. I don't know, I didn't like the sound of it. But it's just like, there's a difference between someone making mistakes in the past and owning up to it and people continuously trying to hide it whilst, I don't know, there's just some things to me where it's like, if you've done it, it's really hard for me to be okay with supporting you regardless of if I'm, I'm not saying you're a horrible person in every single way, but you've done some horrible things that are not like, not to say Gabby Han is a saint. I do not think that. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a hater. I'm just pretty neutral. I want to hear her side. And I can relate to some of the parts of the gaslighting. Feeling like you're going crazy from friends. And she said something in her uh, video of explaining stuff, which was that any relationship can be abusive. Very good point, because it can. And I've experienced people who were supposedly friends. Just, it's, it's awful. It's truly awful, and I can just understand that point, but I feel like a lot of people forget that just because we see videos of people doesn't mean we know them. Nobody knows them unless you, like, more than them, and then nobody knows them second best than the people in their life, and these people who are just like, I get to watch a bunch of videos of you, yeah, maybe they post every day and you see them every day, but that's not who the people are, and it baffles me from the point of I'm not very skilled in social stuff, literally, autism, social, developmental disorder within the social aspects a lot. That was great English. I speak the English. Anyways, let's see how long are we at. So, okay, we're still recording, we're good, because sometimes it kicks me out randomly and it's like, you don't have enough storage. Um, I've been rambling, yeah, I'm on half of my dose of my ADHD meds, but yeah, so that's a brief explanation of why it's because I just, I couldn't even watch YouTube, I was mostly watching just like Drag Race, or the, if I was on YouTube, it was to watch, uh, by Trixie and Katya, do look that up, it's literally called, uh, and I thought that was hilarious when my roommate was, roommate, roommate, you know, roommate, told me like, yeah, it's called, uh, and I'm like, what? Uh, what? And she's like, no, it's literally, uh, or, uh, so, so, something like that. I can't do it as best as they can, but it's funny, it's lighthearted, and I had a lot of school, had a lot of stuff like that, and one of the reasons I also, I'm thinking of veering towards true crime is because there's some stories that I don't see a lot that really make me sad that they're not out there, and some that relate more towards my heritage because I'm, I'm half Arab. I know the pale skin doesn't really give that away because I'm fucking white as hell. Yeah. And I there are some stories that I really think should be told that I want to tell and maybe give a little bit more insight also towards things like the Arab culture because I feel like telling those stories I can contribute a lot more to understanding the things that people may not understand not excusing the crimes but like explaining some parts of the culture that contribute to the way this works or a little bit more about that and i also love the true crime going into it because as a psych major it's technically pre-med it fascinates me the minds of these people let me know what you guys think about the idea of me going into true crime i'm actually really really excited about that and i'm planning on starting another video series like the elizabeth fritzen one Although hopefully a bit more organized and not like a half an hour video each of, oh crap, okay. Just ignore that, ignore that, that's my my alarm and I had to shut off my phone because it literally will not let me turn it off until I do that. It's the only thing that wakes me up. Cheers. And I'm thinking of the, um, of uh, making a series called Cocktails and Crime. So if anyone wants to have some apple juice cocktails with me, feel free to join. Um, I mean, I'm gonna do it either way, probably. Yeah, storage is almost full, so 
that's what I'm going to go with now. Let me know what you guys think. Sorry, this is probably really boring. I'll go into it more when they have more storage. So, <laughs> shit as fuck. Yeah, whatever. Subscribe, like, please comment. I love the comment, the engagement, and all that. And, uh, see you guys next time. Yeah, sorry, because this video is really not that great. <laughs>